if you are providing on-job training, orientation, or briefing for your staff, and you would like to check how much they understand after going through your training by getting them through a quiz, here's a free software that you can use to create your quiz and also automatically calculate and compile the results for you. Check this out. Okay, here we are in Microsoft Forms. Okay, just go to office.com and then select uh, Microsoft Forms right over here and you come to this page. Now, if you don't watch my previous video regarding on how to create a survey using form, then you can watch it right now over here. Okay, so you, you want to create a survey, just click the form and then there are plenty of templates over here. You can choose from if you want to get a shortcut. Now, today in the video, we're going to cover how you want to create a simple quiz by just clicking here, new quiz. Now, I created a sample one so that you can see right over here. Now this is a quiz. Okay. Now over here, I created a simple uh, quiz in a different sections so that I'll tell you what we're going to do, right? Now, so assuming that you are going to do a briefing or training. Now, if you can record your training, that will be easier. Like for example, this is what I do. You can record a training example like this. So just record it and then upload to YouTube. Uh, if you do not want to be published okay, in your YouTube channel, means that you cannot search by public, then just select unlisted when you publish it. Okay. So then come over here and you can create a few section like me here. You can have section one, two, three. Yeah, the default one is that's only one section. So here's what you're going to do. Once you create this, right? So basically, this is what we'll create. This is going to be a simple choice questions. So these are all the simple uh, questions you can create. Either a text, right? Text, maybe a subjective, right? Can be a long text, ratings, dates, okay, ranking, like it, yeah. So ranking is basically give them like a few choice and then uh, sort it. But according to the ranking, Likert is like a metric. Or you can even upload a file over here. Now, uh, this net proposal score, uh, like the, you will like this training from, uh, you will like this training. How much do you like this training, right? From a rank one to 10, you can select. And then you can create section right over here. So I already created this. Now, basically, this is, uh, section if you want to automate your your trading or your briefing orientation or any on-job trading so it's just created this thing it's very simple if you completed watching this video select yes yeah now once you select yes here you see for this section okay right over here i add a branching see so basically what i do is that if you yes then they can Go ahead and click next to take the test. If they click no, it will go to the section three of the form where I ask them why you're not finishing the training video. Okay. So then if they're not finished watching, then they should not be able to take the quiz. So basically this is what the branching are for. And uh, now for this question, okay, quiz question, let's click on here. Right, so this is the choice between objective questions. So, Kaban is test blah 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 A B C or D. Now you can see this, right? So this is the correct answer. So all you need is just click here, correct answer, and you want more like A B C D E. You can do that, all right? And uh, if you want to have like multiple choice. Then you can select this. Then you can select a few answers. Okay. Then the system will automatically correct for you. Yeah. And you can even set like select total option. So you must be equals to two. Okay. So 
if they select one, then they cannot continue, right? It's incomplete. So they'll force them to select two. Okay. So let's put it back. I don't want multiple choice. Now then you can put in your point system right over here and uh, must put in the required few means that they have to answer this. Now next I can create a text question. Okay. So a long text question. Yeah. Then you select here so that they can answer. Okay. The question now. The system will not be able to correct this. So at the end, when you review the response or the quiz, you will basically have to go in and do your ranking on this. Yeah. So here I can end up on this. Maybe I can read 20 points. Then continue, insert new. Right. So for quiz, usually I use a lot more on the choice. Yeah. So then one, the two, three. Okay. There's two. So. That must be two. Ten points. So this is how you created your quiz. Yeah. Now you see this is 10, 20, 10 means that your quiz is total of 40 points. Now come over here. You can preview your, your quiz. It's going to be something like this. Uh, you can pass it. If it's uh yes, then they are able to take the quiz, right? I just mentioned to you, let's go back and test it out. If you say no, you will jump into the end form section where you're not finishing, blah, 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 and then finish. So look, okay. And mobile, right? So they can watch your videos right over here. Or they can click the link to launch it directly to watch it in YouTube. Same thing. Yeah. Back. Right now, if you want to change the style, you can come over here and change the style. Right. Make style that they suggest. Or you just need to have light. Uh, a simple one, okay? There's so many that you can choose from right over here. Okay, and then click to preview. Mobile, something like that. Okay, so once you got all that, and then you can come over here, collect the response. And uh, if it's internal organization, you just type the... Uh, so you just come over here and type their email and uh, automatically it will send through Outlook or, or Teams to them. And or you can uh, just shorten the URL and then copy the link and then send to them separately. Or you can just send them this right QR code for them to scan and uh, take the test. Or basically, you can embed this onto your website. So, the uh, important is to choose here who can respond to it. If it's internal organization, will be here. Yeah. So you record name and then make sure it's one responsible person so that they don't submit so many times. All right. Okay. Now, once you finish this, you can basically come in here and see the response. So. You can see real time how the response is already completed. And then this is just a sample. Yeah. And then you can come over here and review the answer. Right. So if the long question, if they have it, then you will see it right over here. Need review. Okay. And then uh, you can basically 
open the result in Excel or download it. Yeah. Then you can also print summary, which is in PDF form. Okay. So that's how you create your quiz and uh, get it to get this Microsoft form to automatically compile the result for you. Will save you a lot of your time. Now try to create your own quiz and let me know whether it works for you or not. By the way, if you like these productivity videos, do subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell so that every week when we publish new content, you'll be notified. By the way, check out some other videos that we created earlier. Hope it helps you to boost your productivity.